Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the last in a trio of hidden security cameras we've checked out recently. The first being a Bluetooth speaker, the second being a Qi wireless charger, and this being a regular clock. So it's an analog clock, just looks like any other that would be hung onto the wall, but it actually integrates a small pinhole camera, and it has Wi-Fi built in of course, so you can connect it to the internet and have access to a live feed no matter where you are in the world. Now as usual, the packaging is just really generic and simple, it's just a black box, and inside we have the clock itself in addition to an AC power cable and a micro USB cable for providing power to the clock. I suppose that's the only slightly strange part about its design would be this cable because if you hang it onto the wall, of course most clocks in the world don't need to have a cable that needs to be plugged in. It operates using batteries, but uh, obviously since this thing needs to connect to Wi-Fi, it will drain power a lot more quickly if you use just double A's. So that's the only slight concern, but perhaps you can wire it somehow into the wall or you can maybe just set it onto a desk or somewhere that it's less obtrusive. Anyway, here is also a quick user manual with a QR code that you can scan to download the companion app. It's called P2P Live Cam. It's the exact same app as we've been seeing in the other two cameras, so nothing really new. It's a generic one that works with most of these Shenzhen based security cams, and it's also printed in full color. There's also an application you can download for Windows computers if you want to monitor it on a full blown PC. The clock itself, you can see, has a silver face, and the front is actually made out of glass. It really just looks like any other digital clock that you maybe find at Walmart or Target, and uh, just also operates like a real clock. You can put in a real AA battery, and it will actually spin and tell you the time very quickly. The frame is made entirely out of plastic, and on the back, you can see you have the place to hang it onto the wall. You have the compartment for the aforementioned AA battery, which, again, just is very convincing, and there's even a wheel that you can twist to adjust the time. There's also the QR code that you can scan to input and bind it with the app for the first time. Now what you'll also find on here is a semi kickstand that you can pop it up at if you want to have it kind of rest upwards like this without hanging it onto the wall necessarily. A pretty neat little design trick. But more importantly under here is where you will find the micro USB port for providing power if you want to use it as a security camera and a dedicated power on off switch for the camera function and the hidden micro SD card slot for the uh, memory card which you will need if you want to record video because there's no cloud storage with these generic cameras. They have to be saved directly onto the memory card card on the device. You can view it back on your phone, but the videos aren't saved into your phone's memory. Now you'll also find a small pinhole microphone, but Amazon's newer policies actually prohibit the selling of spy cameras with built-in microphones. So by default, all of these manufacturers have disabled the function if they're being sold on Amazon. Now, before we take a closer look at the app and performance, I want to mention there is a small built-in battery on this thing, so it's technically rechargeable. Even being unplugged, you can see that it's still turned on and can still record using Wi-Fi for about an hour or two. Now, they did also build in this tiny little groove that you can put the wire through so you can close up the kickstand if you don't plan on putting it uh, you know, on a desk or something. So if you hang it onto the wall, it still remains flat, so it uh, makes mounting still possible. As far as the face of the clock is concerned, it's definitely one of the most discreet and well hidden out of the spy cameras I've checked out. For example, I saw how the Qi charger one, I actually noticed the camera lens uh, because the mirror I thought wasn't dark enough. But on this, if you look very closely, there's really nothing giving it away. You have to really look closely and point at the light in the corner of the 10 mark. So that's where the lens is coming out from. So it's a tiny little camera lens. All right, so the app is again called P2P Live Cam. And it's nothing new, it's a very generic app, but you can tap on the plus key there just to quickly add the uh, camera, and you can connect to the camera's Wi-Fi either directly, or you can also connect the camera into your home's Wi-Fi network, so it, the camera itself can be accessed no matter where you are in the world. Overall, I would say the image quality is good, but it's not quite as high resolution, in my opinion, as what we saw with the wireless Qi charger camera. You can see that the color saturation seems to be a little bit more off. It uh, kind of overexposes when looking at lights, and the field of view is also more narrow. The other one had about 110 degrees. This is closer to maybe 80 or 90 degrees. It's still fine for looking at the room, but it's not giving you that fish eye effect. But overall, it definitely still is going to be functional. Latency is still all right. So as I'm moving it along, you can see it, there's a split second delay, but then everything is popping along here 
Again, it's going to be a little bit dependent on your network speed, of course, but all in all, it doesn't have too many problems. Um, and again, if you want to rotate it, you have to do it yourself because there's no motor to assist a pan and tilt functionality. Now, one of the more interesting things I do want to mention is the camera lens can actually be adjusted manually in terms of position on this little lever on the back. This is the plastic part, and you can actually twist this down to tilt the camera lens slightly upward. So I'm not actually moving the clock itself now, it's, I'm only twisting this. So if I twist this, you can see how the lens is now going to be pointing downwards. So this is done manually using this scroll dial, but uh, at least you are able to control it. Now out of the box, for whatever reason, my camera lens was pointed all the way down. So what I saw was this weird cutoff, which was actually the cardboard or the plastic face of the clock. Uh, and I thought my unit was defective, but it took me a moment to realize that it was actually this little scroll wheel that requires some additional adjustment. Otherwise, the features of the app are really standard. Again, the microphone is muted by default since in its current state and firmware, it's disabled, but you can bring it back if you want to. I can begin recording video on the SD card or I can take a snapshot saved onto the device's memory. If you have all the lights completely turned off, even if you know there's a night light in the background turned off, so it's pitch dark, the camera definitely struggles more, uh, even though the lens itself is trying to do its best to capture a monochrome image. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this uh, spy hidden camera disguised in the form of a wall clock. I think that the design is pretty clever, and I feel like the disguising part is perhaps the best out of the trio, just because the lens itself is so well disguised into the face that it's almost impossible to see without inspecting it very purposefully. Uh, furthermore, it's the largest object out of the three, which naturally disguises the lens better as well, because the area that it takes off is also smaller in comparison to its body. Performance of the camera quality is probably Probably the weakest out of the three in terms of the resolution and the saturation. It seems to give the least amount of detail, but overall it's still satisfactory. So you can check out more details in the links below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been our hands-on review of this interesting spy hidden camera clock.